Sound Toys is a small software company with an impressive pedigree when it comes to the world of audio effects. Members of their engineering team were responsible for the design of classic studio hardware effects like the Eventide H3000 and DSP4000, which in their day set the standard for delay and pitch-based effects and are still in demand. Sound Toys engineers have also provided DSP algorithms for many other pieces of high-end studio gear. As a software company, Sound Toys was previously known as Wave Mechanics, and they made the well-regarded Ultra Tools line of plugins specifically for Pro Tools. In its current incarnation as Sound Toys, the company's plugins are available cross-platform in 32 and 64-bit in all the major formats, VST, audio units, and AAX and audio suite, making them available to all the major DAWs. Sound Toys effects combine cutting-edge DSP for a variety of effects, including filtering, delay, and pitch shifting, with modeling techniques to bring in a little of that distinctive edge you get from classic studio hardware. This extra edge ranges from analog distortion and saturation to the distinctly digital crunch that contributed to the unique sound of many of the early classic digital effects units, like the ones the Sound Toys guys designed in their previous lives. Sound Toys 5 includes the entire product line along with a new effect rack for designing multiple effects. There is Decapitator, a distortion generator, but one that leans more to saturation effects than outright distortion, though it can do that too in spades. Filter Freak brings the sound shaping capabilities of an analog synthesizer to any audio signal you run through it. Echo Boy is a delay that can provide all the classic delay-based effects, chorusing, flanging, doubling, slap echo, and includes the ability to mimic the unique qualities of a host of classic analog and digital delay and echo effects units, with options to fine-tune and create your own customized sounds. Phase Mistress does for phase shifting what Echo Boy does for delay-based effects, and Tremolator rounds out the classic effects offerings with its take on tremolo. Pan Man offers up a range of panning possibilities, from simple back-and-forth auto panning to random synthesizer-type effects. Crystallizer combines audio slicing, delay, feedback, and pitch shifting for a host of truly unique effects. The Sound Toys 5 bundle incorporates all of these, plus five additional plugins, each of which is more specifically modeled after a particular piece of classic hardware. There's Devil Lock and Devil Lock Deluxe, which model the limiting and distortion characteristics of the Shure M62 mic limiter. Radiator and Little Radiator model the wonderfully gritty coloration of the Alltech 1567A and 1566 mixer amps staples at Motown Studio A that lent their sound to countless hits. Little Alter Boy is a pitch shifter and formant manipulator based on one of the Sound Toys engineer's earlier products, Pure Pitch, which combines the edgy sound of early pitch shifting software with selected tube saturation borrowed from the Decapitator plugin. Microshift and Little Microshift provide the classic pitch shift based widening effects of the Eventide H3000 another product of some of Sound Toys engineers in their previous lives, and the AMS DMX 1580. And Primal Tap and Little Primal Tap channel the distinctive delay-based effects of the Lexicon Primetime Model 93, an early and seminal digital delay processor with its own unique sound and personality. In this course, I'm going to cover the entire Sound Toys 5 collection, plus the new effect rack. But before I start going through these effects one by one, I'm going to take a quick look at some of the features that are common to Sound Toys plugins. Coming up next.